What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is week two of Purchase or Pass and we've had a lot of releases this week as well as last week which I'm really excited to dive into and talk about. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's talk about all the new makeup releases. You know there's a ton of releases when you have an album in your phone dedicated to all the releases that just came out. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's go ahead and start with 4th Ray Beauty, which is ColourPop's skincare sister brand. And they just came out with a watermelon lip mask. And I own every single lip mask that they've ever come out with, and I love them. One thing that I truly love about the lip masks is that they taste and smell just like what they are. So I have rose, strawberry, coconut, they all smell and taste just like that. So you know. I'm excited for this watermelon lip mask. Like, I'm truly, truly excited and I cannot wait to get it. If you guys are wondering, they are now selling the lip mask as singles for $10 a piece. They used to only come in that little holiday gift set that they released for Christmas time with the rose, strawberry, and coconut one. If you already had the coconut, you still had to buy it again to get the strawberry and the rose one. But now they're singles and they're also all available now as singles. So, so the next couple of releases we're gonna talk about is from ColourPop, so just get ready. So the next thing they came out with is the Like Dynamite Cream Gel color vault you guys i truly contemplated getting this because in my coast to coral collection review i tried the only cream gel color that they came out with in that collection and when i got it it was so dry i couldn't like do a wing i couldn't do anything with it on my lid i just ended up decluttering it because it was just the worst and I was reading the comments under this post, ColourPop's Instagram, and a lot of people were saying like these certain colors are a hit and miss. Some are more creamier than others, depending on the formulation and the color. So I just thought that uh, but I ended up not spending the $45 on this because all of these shades are in cream gel liner form, which I do have, and it works well for me. I love the cream gel liners, so I was like, I don't need this. It say I'm just save forty five dollars, you know. They also came out with the additions to the cloud spun palette, so basically they gave us a full blown collection, which is amazing. I love putting pink on the eyes. That's something I've been obsessed with recently, and I don't know why I've been obsessed with pink. It used to be purple, but you know, I need to get back into my purple because I miss my purple. But in this collection, there are three So Juicy Glosses. You guys know I love my So Juicy Glosses. I'm wearing one right now in the shade Princess Cut, which is my go-to clear gloss. Everybody needs their go-to clear gloss. Try the So Juicy Gloss from ColourPop. It literally looks like juicy lips. You know what I mean? They're so juicy. There's also three lippy sticks, which I did purchase all three of them, as well as two new cream gel liner shades that I don't have, and they're both pinks, which is really exciting, so I got both of those. I will tell you guys, when I saw the release of this, I was like, ooh, I want this, 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 and this, and ColourPop is already pretty cheap, but I just was like, oh my god, I want this, I need this. So as I was adding stuff to my cart, I kept seeing it add up, you know what I mean? Like, it was added up, and... I ended up just taking some things out of my cart because first of all, I don't need all of this stuff. I mean, I got two out of the three So Juicy glosses just because there's a really, really bright pink one and I just knowing myself probably wouldn't really reach for that or I wouldn't know how flattering that would look on me. Uh, there's also a highlighter in this collection which I thought about getting but I saw swatches and it was a little bit too icy for me. And then there's also two blushes which didn't look like it would work for my skin tone. But I'm excited about the lip products that I have because the lippy sticks and the So Juicy Glosses, those are my two favorite lip formulas from ColourPop. So I was so excited to purchase them. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't reviewed the Cloud Spun palette on my channel yet, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't because now I can do a full-on review and not just review that palette. You know what I mean? So stay tuned for that. Alright y'all, I'm not done with the ColourPop releases because today, as I'm filming this, January 15th, ColourPop just announced and showed the Animal Crossing collab that they're doing. I knew, I had a feeling, like I, ColourPop released a sneak peek on TikTok last night and you could see like there was four eyeshadow palettes, two blushes and all that stuff. And the eyeshadow palettes were next to the blushes and I was like... Why are those palettes smaller than the blushes? Like, I had a feeling that it was going to be a quad. 
and turns out it's a quad. There's four separate quad palettes in here, two blushes, a super shock shadow, a glitterly obsessed and some mini just a tint lip crayons. I personally don't know if I'm going to get this collection or not. I don't need any more glitters. The super shock shadow, I feel like I already have that color. I've never tried the just a tint lip crayon, so that is probably something I might I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the quads are really cute. They do just look like quad monochromatic palettes, honestly, but this is a maybe for me. I don't know. I never really said maybe to a ColourPop collab before, but it's probably really a maybe for me. And then lastly, from ColourPop, you guys, this is like a sneak peek. This is coming to Ulta. Get ready because the displays are already going up in store. So it might fully be out on Sunday, which is exciting. I haven't seen it in my store, but a lot of people are posting about it on Instagram and buying it. So it's coming. So this is a, another California collection from ColourPop. And oh my gosh. I'm truly excited. I'm more excited for this than the Animal Crossing collab because this is a palette inspired by Melrose. If you guys don't know what Melrose is, it's the place in California. It is amazing. I love, love, love Melrose. I love the flea markets. I love the environment, the vibe, everything. And this palette just truly makes me miss California in general. And personally, I think that this collection looks so much better than the California Love. And that's a lot to say because the California Love was my favorite 12 pan ColourPop palette for the longest time. It still is. It's my go-to summer palette, truly. But this one I'm really excited about. I see some luxe glosses, but I see like, I see really deep luxe glosses that might be a brown. A brown? We don't have that yet. We don't have a brown. We've been getting like pinks and like nudes. They're giving us a brown, you guys. I'm so excited. And then there's two blushes, you guys, and they look deep. They look so, so, so deep, and I'm so excited. The pictures aren't the best, but they look really deep and really promising, so I'm just excited that I could possibly be getting more ColourPop blushes, you know, so that's I'm really excited. So this is definitely a purchase for me, especially if it's coming to Ulta. Get to, you get your points. You use coupons. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for Sunday, okay? This is, oh my god, that's today. That's today, you guys. Check your Ulta today because I think it might be out today, right now. All right, so we're done with ColourPop for the time being, until probably next week. But the next release we have is from Kylie Skin, and this is a lip oil. And this is a $22 lip oil. And when this was announced, I was looking at the comments once again, and so many people were so excited for this. Um... Good for them. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that they're excited about this. Uh, it's really small for $22 though. Like it's truly small. Like you can just tell by looking at it. It's not worth $22. Um, it's a lip oil. But if you are thinking about getting this or you want to try it, I highly recommend that you definitely check out ColourPop's lip oils. They're like six or seven dollars, and you can get like four or three for the price of this one $22 lip oil and I literally the lip oil is one of ColourPop's best lip products truly I love them I'm obsessed with them I use them constantly throughout the day it's like I would grab a ColourPop lip oil over putting like a lip balm on my lips you know what I mean so the next release is from NYX and all the Valentine's Day collabs are already rolling out it's not even February yet and we're getting these Valentine's Day collabs this is so cute and believe it or not I've never ever 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 tried a NYX eyeshadow before I know your girl is crazy I just have it I haven't tried one before and this is a really cute palette the only thing is just like the shades in here look a little bit too light so I don't really know this is probably a pass for me but I am definitely eyeing those butter glosses you guys know I love them I'm obsessed with them I've been obsessed with them for years and that purple one is calling my name and there's like these two lip duos with glosses in them I wish that they had these separately though I'm not gonna lie like I kind of hope that they have these individually because I really want that purple one but if it's not it's okay I just you know it's fine Next we have another Valentine's Day collection from Wet n Wild and honestly this is a pass for me. I'm it's it, I'm definitely really not interested in this 
collection as sad as that is because one wild always comes out with really great collections but this one is just a little bit underwhelming the blush is not inclusive at all um and i'm when i think valentine's day i think of a ton of different shades of pink but this is just like one i feel like it's kind of like one note to me it's all the same you know i feel like i'm just looking at the same thing uh, within this collection so it's definitely a pass next we have this palette from tarte that just released this honestly looks like the morphe um the morphe holiday palette from last year and it's a pass for me but i have only tried one palette from tarte and i ended up decluttering it it smelled really good i just it wasn't just ideal for me it was really hard to store it was like one of those round palettes that i got in my boxy charm but I think this is really different for Tarte. I haven't seen them do a palette design like this with like these pans and a big mirror. Like, I mean, they kind of have. Like, I don't know. It just looks kind of different. It doesn't really look like Tarte. But yeah, so it's a pass for me. So next we have this collab from MAC. This is in collaboration with Harris Reed. And this is really gorgeous. I don't tend to really buy a lot of MAC collabs. Sometimes I'll just pick up a product here and there from MAC, but something that is really catching my eye is like this blush and highlighter duo. It looks really good, really promising. Uh, the highlighter looks great, the blush looks really deep, and I think it is a really inclusive collab, honestly. Like, looking at this, I think a lot of people can get a lot of use out of this, which is really exciting. For me, I think it might just be a pass, but who knows? MAC always has a 40% off sale, and I end up getting most of MAC's products during their sales. So, who knows? This might end up in my cart eventually. Next, we have this new palette from Nomad Cosmetics, and I've never tried this brand before. But this palette is honestly so beautiful, and I love the shades in here. It is stunning. This retails for $37, and... I think this might be on my list. I don't know when I'm going to get it, but I think this is a palette that I would really thoroughly enjoy playing with for the spring and summertime. So I will definitely look into this brand. This is one of the brands I do want to try out and test this year. So I'm definitely going to make that happen, but I really love this. And I've been looking at their Instagram lately, and there's a lot of unique color stories from this brand. So I'm surprised I haven't tried them sooner. But yeah, definitely pick this up soon <laughs> next we have this valentine's day collection from kiko milano i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but i it's a pass for me just because i feel like i already have all of these shades i have the blush shades i feel like that highlighter i have from ColourPop and a super shock highlighter and one of the big compacts but i mean this when i look at this i do see valentine's day and i feel like this is what valentine's day is all about the different shades of reds pinks all that so i feel like it's a really gorgeous well thought out collection but i just feel like i already have this these shades you know something i'm truly 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 excited about is from mac and mac just came out with new paint pot shades and i think some people were saying some of them were returning but it took them years to bring this back so they were so excited and i truly want all of them i love the mac paint pot in the shade laying low that's what i use to prime my eyes it, i love it it's phenomenal it's unmatched and i just want to try all of these but i know realistically i won't because they all retail for 23 dollars a piece these are available now at ulta i'm not sure if they're going to be available on mac's website but the only time I see myself probably picking up all of these or a majority of these is during a MAC 40% off sale, which they have quite frequently. So fingers crossed I can pick some of these up and it doesn't really sell out quickly, but I do feel like these will sell out so fast. My first shades that I think I'm going to pick up is the black, the white, the purple, and there's like this duochrome that I'm not sure if you can see in this little picture but oh, i want all of them truly i really do next we have a new morphe collection and oh my gosh this is beautiful this is absolutely the most gorgeous palette i have seen from morphe in such a long time i am blown away i purchased this palette already it came out on january 14th i purchased it I love that Morphe has a reward system now and I got to use my points and I only paid $15 for this palette which is amazing and this palette does retail for $25 which is really cheap as it is but the fact that I was able to get it for $15 is crazy and 
I'm so excited to try it and test it out on my channel for you guys. Those brushes are really gorgeous. By the way, at the time that I'm filming this, which is January 15th, Morphe has the whole site, including sale items, is 30% off. And I believe this collection is included. I think. I haven't tried it. I didn't buy the brushes, but since there's that 30% off, I want these brushes because they're so pretty. And I think they'll just be really, really pretty to add to this. Even though I don't need any more brushes, but it's time to declutter some brushes because I'm... You know, it's time to do a little bit of decluttering. And there's three lip gloss minis, um, which I did pick up. I don't need any more glosses, to be honest. Even though I'm still kind of buying glosses, I don't need any more. But really excited to try this palette out on my channel. So stay tuned for a review on that very soon. This is something else I bought when I saw I bought the whole collection. It was $40. But of course, Juvia's Place, you can use a coupon. I used a 20% off coupon, which brought it down to like $31 for everything so there's a new collab from Juvia's Place it is a six fan palette and this is in collaboration with Vanessa this is so beautiful I think this is such a gorgeous palette I don't know what it is I don't know if it's like the packaging or like the aesthetic of this whole collection or what I don't know what it is but I was like oh my god I need it I gotta have it so I picked it up and if you just want the palette the palette is $15 and it comes with two glosses in this collab. So, really excited to try that out. You know, I'm really excited. I love Juvia's Place glosses. I love their eyeshadow formula. I love their palettes. And Juvia's Place is a brand where I collect their palettes. So, I find myself buying all of them because it's just so gorgeous. Like, the color stories never fail. Tr like, truly, I love Juvia's Place. And uh, I'm really excited because Juvia's Skin launches this year. So... I'm excited. I'm so excited for Juvia's Place. They had some of the best releases last year, so I'm really excited about the releases this year. Next, we have another release from KKW Fragrance. I don't know why I've never tried any of Kim Kardashian's fragrances. I feel like her perfumes probably smell amazing, and a lot of people love them, and they have this cute little Valentine's Day fragrance and the only thing with buying fragrance online is that you can't smell it so you just go off a description so it's kind of hard like I'm not sure if Ulta sells her fragrances I might have to check that out I don't think they do because I don't remember seeing any at Ulta but I don't know I might have my boyfriend buy me one of these perfumes because they look really cute and I'm excited about it I just I want to try one you know I feel like they smell so good so I believe that that was all of the releases this week I'm pretty sure by tomorrow or later today there's gonna be some more stuff that is released and if I don't get it I'm sorry I'm filming this at 1 45 in the afternoon uh, so if I miss anything I'll be sure to include it in next week's purchaser pass video but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know what you're picking up in the comments down below what are you not picking up like I want to know I want to know if we like have some of the same thoughts on some of these products but I will see you guys in tomorrow's video bye guys